Hello, I am Hussein Nuriha and I am the Developer Community Architect for the Document Foundation TDF. Today I want to talk about LibreOffice performance. These are the things that I want to discuss today. First, I start by introducing the ideas and then I discuss users' performance expectation, then interaction scenarios that are possible for measuring time and important for performance, then I discuss user experience, debugging and profiling, and at last I describe further ideas and tools. So. This is my summary for the presentation. Please take a look uh, and attention to the words that are written in italic. Having a fast application that serves users is crucial in giving LibreOffice users a good experience and make them happy. Here I discuss efforts to maintain the profit's performance and make it better. So these are the important words. Fast, serving users, good experience, maintaining the profit's performance and making it better. So it is important to know what fast means and how LibreOffice uh, exactly serves users what a good experience can be and should be, and also how to maintain the profit's performance, and also how to make it better. So we need to have a better understanding of these goals. So this is, this is the clarification of these goals. So how fast is fast enough? Here, we discuss about user's expectation, how they expect the application to be, and then how LibreOffice actually serves users. It is important to know exactly what are the interaction scenarios, and then how good experience can be defined for LibreOffice according to performance. And here it comes the term user experience. And later we will see that it is related to the response time of the application. And then how to maintain the process performance. Here debugging and profiling and things like that are important. And then how to make LibreOffice performance better, how to improve further. Then we talk about some of the tools and ideas. First, user expectation. So, what do user expect? This is something that is related to various factors, and I discussed some of them. Um, so, the expectation of users is usually that the application should respond fast. When they click somewhere, the uh, action should be performed, and sometimes uh, when the uh, action that is done takes uh, some a while, they should be informed. So they expect that application re should respond fast and also it should accomplish the tasks fast. These are related, but these are two uh, different things. For example, when you start to download a file you get a response very fast and you understand uh, how much time it will take uh, to uh, finish the download. But the actual download is important for you. So uh, if it takes a lot of time to download the file, you may get disappointed. But response time and the time needed to accomplish a task, these are two different things. Both of them are important. So, where does uh, that expectations come from? There are many factors. It can be based on 
human perception of time. It can be based on comparisons with uh, various different products and it can be also based on visual observation. So uh, when we talk about human perception of time, response time is very important. So we know that there is usually uh, a 100 millisecond limit for interactivity. This is something that is accepted. And uh, anything beyond that is uh, usually not considered interactive because uh, the user actually uh, understands that there is some delay. And something uh, around one second causes distraction for the user and anything beyond 10 seconds can lead to abandoning the application. So there is another set of uh, ideas that uh, leads to perception for the users and it comes from comparing with other applications for example with uh, Microsoft Office with uh, different uh, competitors in Office software with browsers and etc. and also we have another set of perceptions based on visual observations that um, in that case user feels some sort of slowness and delay for example take a look into this bug tdf uh, bug number 43959 it's about a problem with rendering horizontal ruler so it goes into the wrong direction and it takes a small amount of time to go back to where it should be so here there's uh, a problem which is not in itself a performance problem but it causes the users to feel some sort of delay so let's take a look at the status of LibreOffice so LibreOffice is fast and it is believed to be fast in most cases and compared to some other competitors it is a good application because it is a native application and uh, if there is a visible slowness, people usually file bug reports and we have various bug reports for performance related problems. And there are many fixes for that. Uh, many problems have been fixed during the past years. And uh, there are still uh, many bugs waiting for a fix, but um, th this is an ongoing work uh, by the developers. So, the things that uh, I uh, discuss here is the need for new tests to avoid possible regressions in the future. This is an overview of performance related bugs. So, we have a um, big meta bug uh, with the uh, name performance, it is uh, created to gather performance uh, related issues uh, there are in total more than 200 uh, bugs open but uh, through the past years 161 uh, reported bugs were closed so there is an ongoing work to fix those bugs and as you can see there are bugs related to layout loops infinite loops uh, can be uh, there as problems and bugs and also uh, there is a separate category for macOS and uh, table layouting there are some issues for that and uh, as you can see uh, there are issues around multi-threading and also and there are many issues related to poor scrolling and I should mention that uh, it is not necessarily related to scrolling itself, but it indicates some uh, issues and problems in other uh, areas. And user um, see uh, that sees that problem uh, in um, scrolling. And at last, uh, 
make long operations cancelable. This is something very helpful for the users to uh, avoid uh, facing the LibreOffice hang. So there are some issues with this uh, meta bug. So we need categorization for uh, platforms like Linux and Windows. There are already titles that contain Linux and Windows among those bugs. And uh, there is also lack of application specific categorization and we need more categorizations for different applications, writer, calc, etc. And uh, another issue is that most of these bugs are labeled with performance. This is not enough and we need further breakdown here. And uh, at last, I think priorities can be improved. So um, when the office hangs, this is considered uh, a huge problem and usually developers try to fix that as soon as possible, but uh, there are also other priorities for uh, hangs during a conversion and things like that. This is a screenshot of the dependency tree and uh, you can see uh, the bugs are listed here as a tree structure and you can see uh, bugs depending on each other. This is very helpful if you want to have an overview of the uh, bugs related to performance. So then uh, I talk about interaction scenarios. So Currently, in the performance test of LibreOffice, there are limited tests around these areas. Loading and saving files, doing some format conversion, and also spreadsheet calculations. But there are uh, not much interactive performance tests. And this is uh, important because the possibilities are much more. We can have more interactive tests in many different areas that I will discuss here. So one area is opening and saving documents. This is very important and we can have broader file type coverage from plain text to uh, various uh, XML based formats like ODF, OXML and vector images, some vector images and also binary formats like legacy office formats and raster images. There are some tests related to these file types for performance, but these tests can be uh, improved and expanded. And sometimes uh, some tricks can be used to avoid uh, issues and make the user happy. For example, you see that some applications inform the user that the plain text file is too big, so you can't use that in the uh, print mode and you can use it in the uh, draft mode so that uh, the uh, software avoids uh, lengthy pagination. So uh, you can't always uh, provide a solution, but at least you can inform the user and uh, provide some workarounds. And uh, different things can be done here, both the measurement of time uh, and also uh, doing some sort of comparison with other office suits. This is very helpful in order to find uh, some anomalies and uh, the places where uh, uh, LibreOffice can be slower and provide fixes. And also, it is possible to do some comparison uh, with browsers. So, um, some may consider this comparison to be not fair, but at least we can have uh, some uh, we can gain some understanding and some upper limit uh, and uh, lower limit for the speed and uh, uh, delay 
and this can be helpful. Also for converting documents, we can measure uh, conversion performance and uh, this can be both for printable media and other formats. Uh, so we can do comparison with other office suits uh, and also with browsers and uh, these days many browsers can even uh, produce PDF output so it is possible to do comparisons and uh, this should be not only for performance but also for uh, the quality of conversion and uh, we already have some uh, projects doing uh, good things in this area. Another uh, thing, uh, another area is viewing uh, interactively. So viewing performance is uh, very important for the users and um, various measurements can be done here for text and image layout and rendering and also for scrolling and pagination and uh, finding uh, a word or phrase or finding all the instances throughout the document. These are uh, important uh, measures of uh, interactivity and this is also something that can be measured in UI tests. And at last, uh, interactive editing. So, interactive editing is the most important performance measurement for an office suit. So, um, for viewing performance, uh, you may compare with um, a web browser and a web browser may win with a big margin. But when it comes to editing, things are different. And this is uh, the place where an office suit can shine and show the capabilities. So, for interactive editing performance, uh, there are many things that are important performance-wise. So, typing new text and changing the old ones, and drawing some shapes, and uh, changing document layout, copy and pasting, uh, undo and redo, and using tables and tabulation and uh, search and replace throughout the document. These are the things that are important performance-wise. And uh, these can be also measured in UI tests. And as I've said, this is very important. But there are also other interactions uh, which are uh, performance-wise uh, important in have uh, impact on the satisfaction of the user and uh, I can enumerate some of them for example spreadsheet calculations and as I've said um, right now there are uh, some tests around uh, spreadsheet calculations also uh, importing and exporting data and macro execution also application startup and shutdown in which uh, there has been some work in this area and as you can see in uh, TDF uh, bug number 70526 you can see that uh, now we have some measurement uh, in the startup of LibreOffice but this needs to be improved and uh, for example some tests are not measured in that uh, startup uh, time stamping so it can be improved and also UI interaction can be uh, measured and uh, this is important for performance and user experience so as I've described um, in an interactive application, response time is very important uh, in uh, user experience and shapes the user experience. Uh, if the response time is bad, then the user's experience uh, drops immediately. So it is important to have a good response time. So uh, 
the most uh, important measure in interactive applications is response time. And uh, in LibreOffice, uh, it is important to know that uh, sometimes when you when the user asks for very small uh, actions like typing something or scrolling, uh, he or she cannot do anything unless that action uh, completes. So response time is somehow equal to the completion time for that a specific small task. Uh, this uh, is not always the case in uh, computer programs, but in this case uh, it, it is important to understand uh, the uh, similarities and differences. So in online applications it can be much easier uh, and also in mobile phones because uh, the experience of the user and the response time itself can be measured easily in the UI and uh, many cloud providers use that to improve uh, the user experience but uh, it is also possible in uh, a client application and to remove the response time we need to measure that so the ultimate goal can be to reach 100 milliseconds or a tenth of a second for the actions that are supposed to be immediate so this needs both measurement and optimization and also we need to make long operations cancelable and we already have a meta bug for that so for debugging and profiling uh, we have various tools uh, if we run make perf check and if you look into the sources you can see that it's there since 2014 and it contains various tests over uh, some big uh, spreadsheets so it does searching and uh, some uh, let's say uh, actions on that spreadsheet so that big file uh, is approximately 100 sheets and uh, 60,000 values and um, various named ranges and formulas so this is something that is done uh, regularly in the CI and also there are out of three checks that takes longer uh, the results are posted on perf.libreoffice.org and this is a screenshot of the uh, tests on writer so essentially this is uh, a set of files and as you can see loading uh, from doc loading from docx loading from odt and converting to uh, different formats are tested here and uh, as visible in the graphs uh, at least for this example things have been uh, improving things are improving during the uh, past months so if you click on the results you will see something like this this is based on call grins and it is uh, focused on uh, interaction program interaction with CPU for example you see IR for instruction reads, DR for data reads, and DW for data writes. This is good for fixing some low-level bugs in the code, but it is not always as useful as looking into the uh, interaction of the program with the users. So the user-level tests are something that uh, can be very helpful. Also, uh, we have a tool called FlagGraph, and this is this consists of two pictures overlaid. The first one is the big flame graph, and the second one on the top left is uh, the zoom over part of it. So, the idea is to find the places, the functions, where most of the time is spent there. So by uh, understanding the hotspots, we can uh, try to optimize that places and 
uh, improve the overall performance. It's a very helpful tool. And profiling in general uh, is usually easier when you use an IDE. So you can use Qt Creator uh, or you can use Visual Studio as visible in this screenshot. And uh, you can also use an IDE that uh, is integrated with Walgreen and Colgreen and tools like that. So uh, something like that flame graph is also uh, usable in Visual Studio and as you can see uh, the path uh, which contains uh, the slower methods or methods that takes a lot of time uh, are visible in the uh, graphical output and this helps a lot when you find what the, when you want to uh, find the source of the problem source of the performance uh, problem and fix that and uh, at last the time measurement itself so it is important to know how much we measure time in LibreOffice code the answer is uh, not much so if you uh, search for things related to uh, time and also uh, time measurement and also call grain things like that uh, you can find uh, a few results also in Python uh, alongside C++ you can search for time and uh, the thing is that uh, we face this question. Is it possible to be always on time without a clock? Uh, I, I say no. Therefore, we need to uh, do more time measurements and use that in the tests to improve LibreOffice performance. So these are some of the further ideas and tools. So user level performance testing interactivity as I've described is something that we need to expand and we need to have uh, more time measurements and this can be done alongside UI tests. Also we need to use more GPU. With Eskia uh, we now use GPU but it's not enough and many things are done uh, in CPU. So using more GPU means uh, can mean uh, better performance and this is something that is tested in, uh, across various different applications. So one other thing is that we can use faster libraries instead of homegrown solutions. For example, there is a huge difference in SVG rendering uh, and uh, the homegrown solution that is uh, used to edit SVG might not be uh, suitable for use everywhere and also we can use multi-threading and for further reading I can suggest this article about human perception of time and also uh, looking into LibreOffice code itself to uh, understand the fixes for many LibreOffice performance issues that are fixed and Bugzilla and in the git log is very helpful and at last there are many uh, talks by the uh, LibreOffice developers that I can suggest uh, on various different parts of performance of LibreOffice and uh, improvement. And uh, the last one, the Flame Graphs by Kaelin, is uh, very recent. So, thank you very much. I hope I could provide an overview of the performance topics in the process.